Hi, it's Peter from the DevRel team at R3. In today's video, I will show you what a standard core app design workflow looks like. In my previous video, we mentioned that smart contract running on Corda is called a Corda Decentralized Applications, also known as a Corda app. However, before we go into the details of designing a Corda app, we should be aware that there are some differences between a centralized applications versus a decentralized applications, which runs on a distributed ledger system or what is commonly referred as a blockchain. When we look at decentralized applications in general, as opposed to centralized applications, decentralized applications will be running individually on each of the nodes of a decentralized network, which means the database wireframe, and etc. will also need to be taken care of by the individual node operator. This will offer the user the highest level of security because your data never leaves your premises without your consent. However, greater power comes greater responsibilities. You have to be very careful with what you do with your decentralized applications because whatever action you trigger or any transaction you sent will not be able to call back because of the immutability of blockchain. We should keep this in mind throughout the entire designing process. So, let's begin. Corda is a backend technology. It is meant to connect the different companies and help them streamline the business process. And the Corda app is what facilitates the business interaction between companies. The first step in a Corda app design is to define how many types of participants will be in the system so we can tailor the design for all possible transactions accordingly. For example, if we're looking to simulate a payroll system, we will see three types of participants in the system. The company who issued the salary, the bank which pays the money, and the employee such as Peter Lee who receives the money. However, it does not matter how many employees will be in the system. We can onboard the rest of employees to the system at a later time, but we just need to be clear of the roles of each participant categories. With clear roles for participating parties, we are ready to go through the design for the actual components. First, we will think about what do we want to do in our core app. What kind of transactions can user invoke? What you just saw there are four different actions. Sending a document, sending a luxury goods. In a core app, these actions are called quarter flows, and these flows are executables in the quarter applications. In a quarter flow, we will compose the transaction, specifying the inputs and outputs of the transaction. We will also define some of the transacting conditions, such as which notary service will be used for that specific transaction, whose signatures are required on the transaction, and where the transaction is sent to. And remember, all of the conditions will need to be considered with respect to the decentralized network and the peer-to-peer -peer communication scheme. We will be covering that in our implementation tutorials in a different video. Next, we will think about what are we actually sending in each of the transactions. The input and output that are carried around in the transaction are called quarter states. They will get created, updated, and eventually consumed via the transaction. We have great flexibility on what the quarter state can be. It can be an invoice of a billion dollar purchase or a simple game board of a tic-tac-toe game. We can also define private methods on the quarter states to better manage it when we are using it in the flow. Lastly, we will think about how do we prevent people to create bad transactions in the system. We will have rules to limit it and verify each of the transactions, and they are called contracts in the quarter app. In contract, we define all the possible actions we want to do with a specific state, and then write verification code for each of the intention, and that will be the layer of protections for any potential malicious transactions. As of now, we just walked through the steps of designing a core app. Are you ready to design your first core app? Let us know your core app ideas by comment below. Again, this is Peter from the DevRel team at R3. Click the subscribe button below the video if you haven't. You can visit our website at quarter.net and join our Slack community at slack.quarter.net. I hope to see you at our next video.